In the glamorous world of historical portrait painting, Ross Roberts was the one they called the best. His talents made him the darling of the fine art jet set. Anything he painted became instantly priceless, but Ross Roberts was about to find out that some portraits are better left unpainted. My God, I've done it. I've painted the perfect portrait of Abraham Lincoln. Rachel, come. You must see. Who's it supposed to be? It's clearly a portrait of our 16th president, Mr. Abraham Lincoln. Honey, you know I love you, but this doesn't look anything like Lincoln. I mean at all. Mm. Leave me. She doesn't know what she's talking about. You're perfect. Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln, Abraham, Abraham Lincoln. Ross, honey, will you come to bed, please? You haven't slept in days. I've painted the perfect portrait of Abraham Lincoln, and no one will believe me, not even my domestic partner. Is that what we are? You haven't even touched me since you painted this, this monstrosity. I hereby proclaim my emancipation from this relationship. FYI, that means I'm breaking up with you. Whatever. Phoebe? No, 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 Phoebe. Phoebe, come in. I have something I'd like to show you. I don't know what to do. He's obsessed with this painting. He won't sleep, he won't eat, he's bottling his own urine and feces. You must come talk to him. I know you're not his friend, Chandler, but you're his art agent. And please hurry, I'm afraid he's gonna do something terrible. Who are you talking to? The American History Museum? You know, I've sent them exactly four score and seven emails and they haven't responded to one. Are you sabotaging me? Ross, please. Why do you forsake our greatest president? Are you pro-slavery? You need help. I know you've hidden all my five dollar bills, bitch. Hmm? Well, that was boring. Welcome to the theater, Mr. Lincoln. Ross, my liege, you simply must show me this painting. You're in such a tizzy about. Please tell me you have something to sell. I need to feed the monkey, you know. <laughs> That's not a euphemism. I have a monkey and they're not inexpensive to feed. Now fix me a glass of that 40-year-old scotch I know you have in the kitchen and meet me in the gallery. Chop, chop. You see, these brush strokes here are beautiful, but these brush strokes over here are equally as beautiful. I think this is your worst work ever. I feel the pain of how bad this is. I wish you would have painted one of the gorgeous Kennedy boys rather than this monstrosity, which isn't even Lincoln, it's Lurch. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go upstairs and draw a hot bath. Please send up Phoebe. I'm going to need a thorough scrubbing. Ross? 
Hello? Ross? Ross! Lincoln, Lincoln, Lincoln! It's only fitting that the fate of the non-believer should be the same as Lincoln himself. Come on! What do you want? Uh, hi, I'm uh, Officer Joey. Uh, how you doing? Say, uh, we received some complaints to the American History Museum. Some threatening emails. You don't know anything about that, would you? It's pretty creepy stuff. Creepy? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. You uh, wouldn't have anything to wash this down with, would you? I have Ovaltine. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Hey, it's Abraham Lincoln, right? That's pretty good. Yes, it is Abraham Lincoln, our 16th president. Good eyes, sir. Mm -mm, if I may, you see, these brushstrokes here are beautiful. Ross! Lincoln. Also Lincoln. Beard of bees on Lincoln. Oh, two Abraham Lincolns on a teeter-totter. Doc Monica, what's crapping Oh, uh, sorry to interrupt, but real quick. Got a little case of the munchies. Need some change for the vending machine. But all I got is a $5 bill. No. Lincoln! We got dibs on the Toblerone bar. Abraham Lincoln. And proud to fulfill.